Hi, in this video, we're going to go over numbers um, 5, hopefully 8 and 9, and um, 5 minutes from pages 216 and 217. So, but I first want to make sure we understand. Um, in this, in these problems, we're going to be given, sorry for the click, click, click noises, but we're going to be given the expression in um, expanded form. So we're going to have, you know, an expression like this where it has a term plus another term or a term minus another term. And then they're going to ask us to, to transform that into the factored version. And so a factored version is going to have the greatest common factor on the outside of the parentheses and then the simplified version of the um, terms on the inside. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for this factored version. So for that to happen, I'm going to use this chart method for number five. And I put the um, expanded version of the um, expression 6x plus 15 on the top here. And what's going to happen is I'm going to list all the common factors in this column. And then um, what will and, and then the results as I factor those numbers out, um, which is really division, will be left behind. And then the end, whatever is left behind goes in the parentheses. And the greatest common factor goes out here. But you're going to see in these next couple, they're pretty simple. So it's not that much to look at. But So I think to myself, all right, self, I have 6x plus 15. And the first thing I want to check is, do they have a common variable? Is there a common variable in the term? And there isn't because 6x has a variable, whereas plus 15 is just a constant and there's no variable term there. So I won't be able to factor that out. So then I just look at the, the um, coefficient of 6 and 15 as the constant. Do those two numbers have a common factor? So I know that um, 6 is, I can break 6 into 2 times 3, and I can break 15 into 3 times 5, or 1 times 15, or 1 times 6. Um, but I look, I see this, that this 3 is a common factor for both of those numbers. So I'm going to remove that common factor. So 3 times what is 6? I'm dividing 6 by 3, and I get 2. 3 times what is 15? I divide 15 by 3 and I get 5. And then I look at my numbers here, 2 and 5. Do 2 and 5 have any common factors? No, because they're both prime. So that means that I have found my greatest common factor, which is 3. So that goes on the outside. And then here is my factored version, 3 times 2x plus 15. And plus 5, I'm sorry. And I can check my answer by using the distributive property. And I can say do 3 times 2 would be 6, 3 times 5 would be 15, and there would be a plus sign between them. So yes, I have the right answer. I've just checked my work. Boom. Okay, so as I look at number 8, I kind of already had it set up for us. And um, this is another simple one because I think to myself, something times something is 14, and something times something is 49. Well, when I see a number like 14 and 49, those are my seven multiples of 7. So 7 is their common factor. So 7 times 2 is 14, and 7 times 7 is 49. And so that, and when I look at 2 and 7, they're both prime. So they don't have any common factors. So that stays like this. So then the answer here would be 7 times the quantity, 2x plus 7, and that would be equivalent. And I can check it, because 7 times 2 is 14, and the x would come down. And 7 times 7 is 49. And there's a plus sign between them, so I check my work, and it worked. 